G'day subscribers. Today we're going to talk about rear mud flaps on a ute or a panel van. Now I think mud flaps are one of the nicest accessories that you can get for your FX or your FJ. <clears throat> and the reason I say that is they finish the car off. Now front mud flaps are pretty easy because all you need is you know a little bit of flat rubber from you know Clark rubber or something like that. As long as you've got the right framework you um, with the brackets, you can make it look pretty authentic. It's fantastic. Um, so with my FJ, um, with my Ute, I had the um, the Nasco rear accessory flap itself. So the rubber flap, or the neoprene flap, as they were being made in the day. Um, and I think I just constructed a bracket out of. Uh, just some galvanized sheet um, and I noticed when we were doing my friend's panel van his had little offsets on it and stuff like that and you know be, be, and the reason it had an offset is because the actual uh, the inner tub of the wheel arch the inner has a curve at the back of it so to make the mud flap sit straight and level it's got to be offset but um when i didn't have anything i was just playing around a little bit and i was just thinking well what do you do for a trailer and so that was about the right width uh, sorry height for an fj mud flap it was a little bit small but look if you've got nothing can't do nothing but if you've got something you can do something with it and i thought okay well i'll get this right i'll get smaller bolts i can fashion this here you know, into the same type of, um, you know, bracket that'll go on the wheel arch. It'll go around a little bit. It'll be fine. Now, some of the jive talkers, when I was talking about rear mud flaps for FX48 Ute, FJ Ute, FJ panel van, uh, I got a really good technical drawing. Um, so that was thanks to Barry. And also... Mark sent me a picture of, I think it was one of his. And then he said, oh, look, I know this bloke that makes them. I said, oh, okay. Now, when I bought my um, ornamental jewels from Bundaberg, the bloke had rear mud flaps themselves. So this is what, this is what he sold me with the Nasco and the, and the right height so I had the height about right had the height about right but Professor McQueen he he showed me oh this guy can do the real McCoy so this was exactly like the drawing that Barry had sent me and I thought gee whiz you learn new things every day and and this was sent let's just have a look at one of them so this would be the driver's side so when you're looking at it, it's offset for the curve, I'd say, because it curves to the inner, whereas I would have just made it, you know, a bracket to take into consideration those three bolt holes that go through there. You know, there's a bar that goes all the way across, um, and I would have just made this come up a little bit. It would have come up here, and then I uh, would have come up probably about two thirds of the way, had two holes in there, wrapped around the inner guard, found what looked to be level in the middle of the stocky tie, because let's face it, if you get the middle of the middle, well then it doesn't matter whether you've got a, a four inch rim on there or a six inch like I had for a while there on my ute, uh, the mud flaps still look the same. But gee whiz, I've, I've got to say, that is, that's a perfect job. That's really, really perfect. So I've got, you know, obviously one for each side. Now, th these are quite firm neoprene. Really good. Um, you know, they, they take uh, armor all well. They look quite shiny and flash. The, the, the Nasco looks good on them. Um, but th they are quite a... Quite a um, plain flap you know they're not like sedans with like 
flutes across them or grooves or anything like that. I do have some. However, with these, with the NASCO, um, I'm, I'm literally thrilled with these. I just, you know, spent a little bit of time getting the holes on these perfect. So I, I left the holes alone on the metal and I just elongated the, the, the rubber, the rubber to suit. But I have to say, they look great. So I'm going to have the front mud flaps on. I'm going to have the rear mud flaps on. At the back, it'll have the rear mud flaps. It'll have the anti-static strap. The reflectors will look nice. And we'll also have the uh, exhaust extension. So from the back, it should look pretty flash. So um, I'm, I'm really happy uh, with that. So thanks to Barry for um, educating me um, with a drawing, a really, really good technical drawing, you know, with the measurements there in metric and, you know, the right curves and all that sort of thing. I didn't need it in the end because I found a bloke that knows how to do it all. So what I was going to do was actually, I was going to make this in one, one angle and then and then uh, another piece here. So I was going to make it out of two piece. So that was going to be one piece and a second piece here to get my right angle right. Um, but when you look at it, you know, I really, I, I needed to figure out how to do the curve. I don't have to now. I don't have to do anything because it's been delivered in a perfect state. So. Couldn't be happier. They'll go on Project Julius on on Thursday so that um, I can run up to Bundaberg on Friday ready for the Bundaberg All Holden Day where they're going to specialise in the 48 model and the FJ Holden. So I've been talking to the President uh, Phil uh, there and um, they're all excited about you know having um, cars come from all over to go to Bundaberg. So it should be a bit of fun. We're going to try and do a, a bit of a jive talking as we're going around, so a bit of a bit of a hit and giggle, um, as as well a bit of a walk around. So um, we'll be we'll be reporting to you on the weekend from Bundaberg, and shooting a little uh, uh, jive talking um, garage uh, episode for you. But in in the meantime, how good are mud flaps? Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. But more importantly. Enjoy your holding.